Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Brambles. Today we're doing season 4, episode 13 of Supergirl called What's So Funny About the Truth, Justice, and the American Way? That is a long title. <laughs> So we're starting off with, um, first of all, I missed the, like, the first two minutes, so super sorry about that. But from what I saw, there was, like, awkwardness at CatCo, where I think Alice was trying to get, um, Cara to go to lunch, but she couldn't do it because something came up, and I think she was training, uh, Nia. So they go to training time at the Fortress of Solitude. Then we have Manchester Black, talks to John, but that turns into an ambush where his, um, cohort zaps him and he escapes with Menagerie and um the invisible alien and the guy with the bowler cap and him I think it's just only four of them anyway but he off guards with uh swords which is actually a pretty cool fight scene kind of like a call to daredevil's uh hallway scene but not as violent obviously <laughs> Supergirl shows up and she got, uh, she didn't do so good. <laughs> and they managed to escape. Then we have Dreamer is training and she's pretty decent at it. And then we see that the, I think they're, they're, they're good. in this episode they call themselves the Elite. So they are doing a bunch of live streams about what they're doing and just fracking havoc and creating all the like warpath. The Lena is settling in at the DEO, and then Alex was looking at her research and immediately caught on to what was happening. But Lena doesn't want to create products and not necessarily changing people's DNA because she doesn't trust the government. Then we have Locke was in DC, and then one of his um, Children of Liberty people kind of mocks him, and you know he's very unsure about him. And tells him about Black, like he didn't have Black escaped, and he's kind of freaking out a little bit. Then we cut to where Manchester Black calls out Supergirl in another last stream, and to do it in Manchester. And we go back to Lockwood in DC, and he meets the president, and wants to deputize the Children of Liberty. And the president is like, uh, no, cannot do that. And they take pictures, basically, it's basically just a photo op saying, like, oh, we met, blah, blah, blah. No. And then Supergirl um, is going to go, and then John is struggling with peace, and just I'm sure if that's supposed to be his path or not, because he wants to follow, uh, follow in his dad's uh, footsteps. Now, Dreamer uh, wants to know more about Neltor, so the helper robot um, tells her about her planet. And then we cut about, um, which is called Neltor. Then we have Supergirl versus Black and basically um, wants a deal. <laughs> and so um, she says no and then he warns her about the satellite that the government is trying to launch to um, destroy any alien ships coming into the atmosphere. The Supergirl talks to the president and warns him about the base and everything but he won't back, get, back down. So she leaves, and in fact, he even moves up the timetable to tomorrow night on the show. And the alien heard it. And then we have Luckwood, it's off his game, it's basically doubting himself a little bit, and apparently his wife isn't picking up the phone. And then we cut to her dream is training, or dream is training some more, and she, um, is doing better, and she's doing astral blasts. And uh, she's very impatient about it, but Brainy isn't mad about it, which kind of threw me off because I thought, you know, he was trying to train her and make her do it right and stuff. And but yet, he said part of being here is being impatient. I was like, not necessarily, but okay. And we cut to where Supergirl talks to Alex, and Alex didn't know about the satellite at all. And then we cut to um, as. So Supergirl asks for her help, she says she can't, and, you know, wishes her luck, and she leaves. And then the Elite knows about the satellite and how they're moving up, so, um, they cut a sight, and the Supergirl's already there, and so they are, you know, going to battle each other, and they go to the Elite versus Super Friends, which is like a super callback. <laughs> 
And then we cut to where Alex versus Black says so she does show up after all and have a really impressive fight scene with him. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And so they start the so we found out that the elite actually started the launch and not the government. But they're going to hit the White House and knock them all out. There's John versus Black, but he managed to escape. But Supergirl managed to uh, the first one hit the um, that pond by the um, Washington Monument, I think it is. Anyway, and then she destroyed the satellite. And then we cut to where Brainy is mad about the ring was stolen. So while he was battling and Dreamer were battling the guy with the top hat that can steal stuff and pull like a bunch of random objects out of his hat and stuff, I stole his ring. And so Manchester went after Supergirl and then he got knocked down to the ground by John. But he managed to escape, like I said. Then Alex um, hands out an all to Supergirl and it's like, if you haven't even help, just let me know and then we cut to where the president is mad at supergirl <laughs> like really mad and then alex has to chew out her boss about the whole satellite thing and it turns out she not she did not even know herself which was crazy and uh then we cut to relina talks to alex and basically you can turn off the cameras it's like look if you need my help help let me know because i'm in and so that was like pretty crazy cool and I'm interested to see where that goes. Then we cut to um, the president deputizes Lockwood and wants them over alien affairs. Which is kind of a dumb move but whatever. Then James tells Kenzie about El Corp and tells her to follow that lead and see if the um, person, if the source wants to do an interview. Then we cut to where the Children of Liberty try to kick out Lockwood, but that was an epic fail. And that was the end of the episode. Um, honestly, I gave this episode a B plus. Um, I'm just not here for all the, you know, civil wars and this and that happening. I'm just not really here for it. That's just my personal opinion. But I, overall, I thought the episode was good in the other in terms of the context of the show. And the fight scenes and the acting were all really, really, really good. Um, it's also kind of see that the president's just kind of going, mm -hmm. so that's kind of annoying. But anyway, that's one different for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? Just tell me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because that helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And if you hear rain, sorry, it's raining outside. Anyway, bye.